Hello there, my friends. So today we're going to go to the Carnegie Museum of Art and we're going to show you if you're a member how to buy tickets and even if you're not a member how to buy tickets. So I just did a Google search and this is what came up. So you're going to want to go to website, hit website over here and then it's going to pop up to the top page. Now you can like go down here and say look for a place to buy the tickets. I had difficulty finding that, so I just hit the search button and I typed in the word tickets. <clears throat> so even if you're a member and you know that you get in for free, you still have to schedule um, um, like a, a time. So um, I think we're, see, this website is not, not the best website so drop down uh menu over here hit visit there you go now that's a little better so it says buy admission tickets now that's confusing to those of us who are members because we think that we get them for free and we do but you still have to go through the process as if you don't so if you're not a member and you're visiting the carnegie museum of art go ahead and select date this process is the same for you i'm gonna go on friday and i'm gonna go at uh 12 30 and then actually i'm gonna make it 12 just in case i want to go a little early and then hit cart add to cart oh you have to add it whether you're an adult an adult 65 or over a kid bring a kid with you children blah blah, blah student with id so we're gonna go with uh two adults so i hit add to cart and now the cart doesn't just pop up which is also confusing. So this, way, this is not how I would have designed a website. If you want a website to design, go ahead and talk to me. I do that. Hit review your cart right in the middle there. Very small button. So basically, um, oh, I did this once before, so I'm going to have to change this. Um, review your order. Yeah, that's not good. We, we don't want four adults. We want two adults. So... Let's see, how do I change that? <clears throat> and again, this is not the best website because uh, I don't want this to happen. So how do I change this? Hit checkout. Okay, here's where I can change it. So I will change this one here. Hit remove. Okay. And once I hit remove, it changed it, it removed it. So I've got my 12 o'clock admission on the 17th. And here's at the bottom here, there's a place for a promotional code, which is interesting. But here's the one that matters, the membership number. So when I put my membership number in and hit validate, it will change it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and hit validate and I'm not going to show my membership number online for obvious reasons but I will come back in a second so great so we're back so I hit my membership number and you can see it changed the cart to total to zero so and then you have to put in your contact information your billing address and then hit complete purchase and once you do that it'll also send you an email uh, for your tickets so that's how you get the discount and uh if you have any questions go ahead and throw them in the comments i'll be happy to answer them if i can and uh, if this was any use to you at all just uh, smash like and enjoy your visit you'll be i was anyway overwhelmed by the collection it's absolutely amazing so have a great day enjoy your art see you on the next one